Patients with type 2 diabetes should be treated to achieve an A1C level between 7 and 8 percent rather than 6.5 to 7 percent, the American College of Physicians recommends in a new guidance statement published in Annals of Internal Medicine. Treatment with drugs targeted to 7 percent in contrast to 8 percent does not prevent heart attacks or strokes, but it does result in substantial harm, including low blood sugar, increased medication burden, and increased cost. A1C levels reflect average blood sugar levels over about three months. A reading over 6.5 indicates diabetes. The rationale and guidelines that recommended lower treatment targets is that more intensive blood sugar control over many years would reduce complications from diabetes. The evidence for reducing serious complications was inconsistent. It was limited only to reducing less serious complications, such as excess protein in the urine. ACP recommends that patients and their doctor personalize goals for blood sugar control based on a discussion of benefits and harms of drug therapy, patients' preferences, general health, life expectancy, treatment burden, and costs of care. The ACP recommendations were based on drug therapy. But if a patient can achieve low A1C levels with lifestyle modifications, such as diet, exercise, and weight loss, then those targets are appropriate. If patients achieve an A1C of less than 6.5%, ACP recommends clinicians consider de-intensifying drug therapy by reducing the dosage of current treatment, removing a medication if the patient is currently taking more than one drug, or discontinuing drug treatment. Studies do not show benefit treating to an A1C level below 6.5, but they do show harms. And for that reason, the college recommends for patients with A1C below 6.5 to consider de-intensifying therapy. For more information, go to acponline.org.